What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have some weatherproof bags from Vulcan. Now, we're all going to take a look at the pistol bag and the pistol accessory pouch, and then we also... <laughs> that's a heavy bag. We also have their rifle bag with the three rifle accessory pouches as well. So the most unique feature of this ba of these bags are going to be the weatherproof feature. They call it weatherproofing because it's not quite waterproof. You can't leave it underwater all day. Um, the weatherproofing, you can uh, throw the bag in water. You can submerge it. Definitely in rain, snow, stuff like that. And uh, if it gets, if the bag gets wet for a little while, nothing inside is going to get damaged or nothing inside is going to get wet. The outside of the bag is like this rubbery nylon kind of material, plus the zippers are sealed. So after you seal, after you close the zipper up, the zippers get sealed on top and it's not going to let any water in. Of course, we tested it. We threw them in my pool and submerged them and whatnot. And uh, they work as advertised. Taking a look at the rifle bag first, it is 40 inches long by 12 inches tall. The front has like a Molly-esque type accessory. Uh, uh, um, pouches where you can that's how you hook the pouches in excuse me the handles nice it's a uh, padded it's velcro no issues there the back has a couple things going on now the back of the bag you do have two handles which helps you carry and move and throw the bag around and you also have six little D rings as well they're plastic little D rings and um, the included shoulder strap can be hooked into any of them so however you want to hook up that shoulder strap it gives you several different attachments now the on the zipper it does have a pull tab on it and it's important because any bag or any zipper that has those sealed zippers um, are going to be a little bit harder to move that zipper back and forth that's just they're sealed that's the way it is um, they give you a little bit of lube to put on there to help you out, but you definitely need this little pull tab here to make it a little easier to, uh, to open and close. Inside of this bag is fairly standard. It holds two rifles. It has two straps to hold down those rifles. On each end of the bag, there's two pockets to hold the stock and all the muzzle in place. And that's pretty much the inside of the bag, simple as that. Now these three accessory bags, again, they slot, they hook to the front, to the to the molly on the front of the bag. Uh, they have the same material, they have the same uh, sealed zippers, weatherproof zippers, that's no different there. And they have uh, straps on the back of the bag and that's what loops through the, through the molly attachments on the front. All three of them are dump pouches, so when you open them up, they're just uh, empty space. You know, you can put eyes, ears, ammo, small targets, gummy bears, whatever you want to put in there, you can do so. Let me just drop that under the floor, give myself a little more space here, and we can talk about the pistol bag. So the rifle bag is very nice. I like it a lot. And the pistol bag, I love. The pistol bag is awesome. Um, so again, same type of material, same, <laughs> same type of material, same sealed zippers, uh, same very nice handle, um, same molly attachments on the front. When you get inside the pistol bag, uh, you have spots for two pistols. I have my SIG X5 Legion in here and my Glock 17, which apparently I didn't put in the slot. I just left it out and that's why it fell. You also have uh, spots for three, uh, four magazines, four on each side. So you can put a pistol, four mags, a pistol, four mags, and then close the bag up. On the front of this bag, it has those same Molly type attachments as well. So you can add your, your accessory, your pistol pouch. Same idea here, has the Molly on the front. Same cool material, same sealed zippers, etc., etc., etc. It is just a dump pouch, so you can dump in whatever you want in there. Before we talk about the testing, let's talk about how to install these accessory pouches on the bags. It's very, very easy. If you've ever done any Molly type attachments, you will understand how this works. Again, the accessory pouch has those two little attachment points. You run uh, two little flaps, whatever you want to call them. You run that through the first opening on the bag, then you run it through the opening on the uh, accessory pouch, then through the bag, through the accessory pouch. And the way these work are a little different. It's not, it doesn't have the, the normal clasp um, uh, like Molly does. You run it back through the bag. So the bottom of the bag has an opening. Once you weave it in and out, through the through mo through the molly you run it back into the bag and it holds it in place extremely well it doesn't go anywhere i was a little concerned when i first saw them to see how well it was going to stay in place but 
that has not been an issue. As far as testing, it's kind of what you think. They're pistol and rifle bags, so I brought them back and forth to the range a whole bunch. I've had them for a couple months. Uh, once I got them, I did that test in my pool, and then uh, I brought it, I loaded them up with pistols and rifles and all accessories that I need, and I brought them back and forth to the range a whole bunch. I'm not gentle with my stuff, so it gets thrown in the gear, thrown in my van, thrown out at the range, and uh, that's what I've done for the past two months. So. Pros. Obviously, the biggest pro is going to be the weatherproof feature, the weatherproof nature of them. Again, from the, the exterior material and the sealed uh, zippers that if it's raining or if it falls in a, a puddle or something like that, whatever, it's going to stay, all your stuff is going to stay dry. I like the modularity of the extra bags. If you choose to get the accessory pouches and you have that molly on the front, I think that's, uh, that is pretty cool. The stitching is nice. The handles are nice, solid material. And I like the inside of the bag, especially the inside of the uh, pistol case here. Cons, I don't really have cons. They're nice bags. Can't really complain. The waterproofing is cool. A weatherproofing is cool. Um, two, Heads up, one, I've only had these for two months, so I can't talk to the long-term durability why I think they're going to be very durable with this material. I have no idea. I've only had them two months so far, so good. We will see how they go, uh, how they last as time goes on. Second, these are not cheap bags. Now, I think the price is, uh, is worth it with all the features and the, and, the, and the weatherproofing and stuff, but don't expect these to be $30, $40 cheap bags that you pick up at Walmart or something. That's not the way these work. So your AR bag is $279 at the time I'm making this video is 279. The AR bag pouch, uh, pockets, if you choose to get them, are an extra 135. The pistol is 115. The pistol pocket is 50. And now there is a discount code. Vulcan did pass on a discount code for you guys. It saves you 10% and it is Tiberius Gib. Pay close attention to how it's spelled. They spelt it different from how my name is actually spelt. That's the correct way to spell Tiberius. I don't know. Either way, the link and the code will be down in the video description. If you want to pick anything up from them, you have that code and you will save yourself 10%. Overall, they're good bags. They're unique. They're, they seem to be very durable. Uh, definitely uh, waterproof. I like the waterproof feature. And uh, yeah, I have no complaints. Thank you to Vulcan for sending them out. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. Remember the discount code. If you are going to pick anything up there, use that discount code. We have some swag. If you want to look extra cool in a Tiberius shirt or get a Tiberius patch, the link to those are also down in the video description. More important than that, thank you guys very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. If you choose to do any of those things, they all help me out, and I definitely appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!